Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Built an array with stack operations, Q1. So this one, um, so the idea is that because uh, I, I think this is a weird problem because uh, there, is, there are a lot of different statements that each of them makes the state uh, the problem easier, uh, but you have to read a lot for this one. Um, so the thing is that it's guaranteed the target array was strictly in, increasing, which I'm misreading here. Um, first, first until you know, maybe the it's actually I only noticed now that it's in the constraints itself, uh, but I was. I knew how to do it in roughly even now, so I don't know why it took so long in this one, but it's just a lot of reading to make sure. Uh, but it's pretty much for each number. Um, so I just go from 1 to n. Uh, not quite yet, I suppose. But I just go from 1 to okay. n. Uh, and here, uh, right now, I, I double check that it is strictly increasing because I remember reading about it, but I wasn't sure. So, so yeah, so now I go from 1 to uh, n. And and there are only two cases, right? Uh, because it's increasing, um, which is whether a number is in target or it's not, and you and you can and you should even uh, put it into a collection, uh, a set of some sort. But I didn't because n squared and it becomes n squared, but n is only a hundred, right? So if n is a hundred, then it doesn't. Then it's gonna be fast enough. So th th uh, my logic was just let's not think about it. But if if the uh, if the number is in the set or list, then you do a push. If not, then you do a, uh, a push and then a pop because and those are the two cases uh, only. And actually, you cannot. There's no other answers. The only thing that you have to keep track of is well, if you don't have the last few numbers, you have to remove them. Um, so I think I did it kind of, uh, so this is actually wrong. I think that's how I end up taking some time. Uh, but, and I had to look at this and I was like, oh wait, this is not the way to do it. Um, and I think you you could have used what I did with respect to the last two elements, but I, well, one is I have to get rid of the zero, uh, but I still see these issues. Uh, and the thing I needed to do is to remove or just keep track of the biggest number that we've seen and remove everything afterwards and that's what i end up doing uh, i think in the contest at this very moment i tried a little bit too hard to come up oh, to see. fix what or i i knew i could have still done the while loop method here but i was worried about all the edge cases and then I, here i'm thinking well what are the trade-offs in typing and thinking about the edge cases and so forth? So I just end up using a, a second uh, element. And I think I did definitely try to rush this a little bit because it is a easy and usually I get it within a minute or two. But today, I, I think the contest is also slightly harder. But, but today I was just not uh, not really 100% clearly, but that's okay. So, so you will have those days. But yeah, now I'm just double checking Uh, to make sure that you know it's good, so I did take some no time slow today. Okay, but I guess the number doesn't matter. Build an array with stack operations. Given an array target and an integer n in each iteration, you'll read a number from the list. Um, yeah, so I was trying to do something clever on this one uh, initially, with just you know if you had push pop at the end, you could remove it, and you could still do it that way with a while loop, uh, I think. But I. I think the the better way was just to kind of just keep track of when you stop needing to uh, push and pop, uh, and I and actually you could probably and should have probably used set on this one on the target, um, but I didn't. So I, this is technically n square, where n is the number of targets, um, but it's it's okay. It, it, it's 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 fast for n is equal to hundred is fast enough. Uh, and the idea is just keep track of the last thing that you pushed 
and then that's it. And if everything else, because it's monotonically increasing or just strictly increasing, even uh, you can just keep. If you don't need a number, you just need to pu push and then pop immediately. So that's how I do Q1. Yeah, so it's been a while since I did one of these um, code reviews. So let's actually do a couple of code reviews and see where I can learn because I definitely did not solve this uh, contest very well. I ended up at 175th or so. Uh, cool. So, so the first one, let's see, this is what, what I look like. Okay. And I think my main problem with this one was just mostly speed. So this looks okay. Um, Let's see. I mean, I think most people did it about right. I mean, they did while loops and stuff like that. It's about the same idea. Uh, they did it pretty fast. Pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, that actually that, that first one. I mean, I think this is a cool way of doing it as well, which is that uh, if you're at the last index. Um, uh, of the target, then you break, which makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of it that way. Oh, well, because I did it the other way with, um, we're looking at the other way. So it's almost like I did the fall up the other way instead. Uh, yeah, well, cool. 